Hi guys. Today we are going to do about um, the artist Romero Brito. He's a Brazilian artist, and he does um, art like um, pop. He does his art in the style of pop art. So you can see it's very um, block colours and patterns in different shapes. This is a piece of work based on him, broken down. Today we are going to do. Um, Jewel from um, Rio um, and we're going to do her as in the style of Romero Brito okay I'm just going to move that to the side okay first of all you need a piece of paper you're going to need your pencil you're going to need a um, ruler um, you're going to need a black chunky pen to do break down all your little borders and I'm going to use um, pastels, bright colours, um, but you can use pencils, felt tips for this one, anything that you require, okay? You're going to need mainly greens, um, browns, and a couple of bright colours, and a couple of blues, okay? Dark blue, light blue. Right, let's get started. So you're going to start just over one side at the top. You're going to come down. Go for a happy face, over into a sad face shape. Now this is almost in a quite diagonal direction. Okay. Next you're going to do the beak. So for the beak we're going to come out and do another sad face. So come out and come round. Okay, the beaks are quite hooky. Then you're going to bring that one back and do another sad face but not back up and close it up so we need quite a big gap there and you're going to stop next we're going to come round let's finish this bit uh, we're going to come round to a happy face and then you're going to come down to the bottom well not right to the bottom because we need a gap okay so just come right down Next side, let's start on this side. Uh, last, uh, uh, Miss Harris. Right, let's do the last bit of this beak. So we're going to come in a little bit from the corner end. And then we're going to come round and do a happy face there. So now we've formed a beak. Now let's go back over to the other side. So we're going back over to the other side where we started off. We're going to do um, four like feathers. Bits of hair like coming out, she has almost like a hairstyle. So we're going to come down, out, down, out. So we're doing lots of happy faces. So out, happy face in, happy face out, and gradually getting lower. So we need four. One, two, three, four. Right, next bit. We're going to come round for a happy face, in for a sad face, out for a happy face. Come down so that you come down and you are level from where you ended your last one. And then you can do a straight line across. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to put the eye in. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to put my eyes, it's going to be in a slight diagonal. So we're going to go down for a straight line. We're then going to come up, over for a sad face. The next bit we're going to do inside that, we're going to do a smaller one. The eye. I'm going to go there. Right, last bit we're going to do is we're going to just add... Um, it has a light blue section around the face. So we're going to come down. Follow the line of the beak for a little bit. We're going to come over and round the outside of the eye. And then we're going to come sad face, happy face and join it into the base of the beak. Okay. Right, next bit we're going to do is start, we're going to use our black pens. And we're going to start dividing this off into sections. So first of all, we can go around and do our, um, around the outside of our bird. Pop art, they like 
tend to like having nice big chunky um, black lines around everything to make the colours and the pattern work stand out really bold. So we're going to come down like that, nice and thick. Right. So we've done that pattern. Next we're going to divide it up. So I, for the background we're going to do a representation of a forest, like where jewel would be found in the forest. So I'm going to divide sections up. I do, I do apologise, I did do it in an original picture, but I don't know where it's gone. So I'm just doing two lines together and then you can colour down the middle from the top. So it just makes it that little bit thicker. You might not have a thicker pen. So we're going to try and keep it straight and I'm going to go and do two lines there. So now we've got, this is going to be one of our trees. Okay, that's square, then we're going to come down and I'm going to do a what would be a branch. Ooh, this is so wobbly. It's sliding around this paper on the table. So we're going to go down. Oh, pen's running out. Let's change. Okay, got a spare one. Let's change that over. Right, so that's coming all the way down to the bottom. This one across the top, I'm coming down across a little bit. Now, and across. This time, so that's another tree we're going to do. This time, and then I'm going to come down. I'm not going to come all the way down this time. Just going to make that a little bit thicker. So, do two lines. So I'm just going to come about three quarters of the way down. This time, I'm going to do a um, flower, actually. I'm going to do a curve this time. So I'm going to go over, curve. Fill that in, just make it nice and thick. And then I'm going to curve around. So imagine this curve coming, jumping through there. So you want to jump, so you want this behind, so we have to pretend to jump through and then go around. Oh, and come around like that. And then in the middle, I'm just going to do a circle, nice big circle. Let's just thicken that up, make that nice and chunky. I'm not doing a good job here. This paper is really sliding around on this shiny work surface um next one we're going to do i'm going to do another flower over this side so i'm going to do one over there and then i'm just going to do the base of it because in the um forests do get lots of lovely um tropical flowers nice really bright colors so basically we've done our our um, picture okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making some pattern work onto my picture I'm going to use the black first for the beak okay um, and then I'm going to do in stripes so it looks like this beaks on the top and this beaks underneath I think uh, I think I did this right way around right so basically I'm going to do some stripes Going across like this, going down. This time I'm going to do this one going the other way. So again, you can use whatever material you want to. Um, for the eye, I'm going to make it a little bit hypnotic. So I'm just going to do a circle and then a bit circle. So I can't fill all the circle in, so I'm just doing just a line and then we do that pretend going round. Okay, right now we're going to go into some bright colours. I'm just going to use these pastels. Again, you can use felt pens or pencils, whatever you wish. 
Um, this one, I'm just going to do um, some sad faces. Sad face. Sad face going across. Now when we do the next sad face, we go sad face into the middle. Up, sad face, into the middle of that one. Okay. Now the next row, you're going to go sad face into that one. Up, sad face into that one. Sad face into that one. Okay, so we're going to keep on going across. You're going to fill that in all the way to start. I'm not going to do all the pattern work because it's going to take too long on the video. But what you can then do is go into the middle and just do one other line. So it gets a double effect. Okay, so you can do that afterwards. Get your basic stamp first. Next one, I'm going to use a lighter green. Let me just take some of this paper off. So next one, we're going to do this tr uh, tree in a different colour. So I'm going to do this one, happy faces this time. Happy face, happy face, happy face going across. Oh, this is much easier with the felt pens. This is quite hard. So going into the middle of the next one, happy face into the middle of the one that you've just done. So then it gives that sort of tree effect. Um, and then what you can do on this one, you can use either a dark green or a light green or carry on with the same colour. And then you're going to just go and do as many lines, one, two. I can fit two in each of these. So I'm going to do two or three happy faces trying to keep it nice and even this is very slippery so you can see that you're coming down so you're getting some patterns in like that um next one i'm going to try is um i'm going to use a dark blue then you're going to do, we're going to do the neck first. So how you're going to do that is going up, down, up, down, zigzags. Okay. The next zigzag, you're going to mimic that and follow the rows. Okay. So every up needs to be next to the next up. Every down needs to be next to the down. Okay. So we're going to go up, down and try and follow it in a straight line. Now you might have to add extra ones as your shape gets wider. As my shape gets narrower, I need to still keep in line. So all my downs are all in a straight line going down. So I'm just going to come down on this one so I don't need to do an up. And you're going to do this pattern all the way to the bottom. Okay. Look. Okay, you're going to go and do that all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm not going to finish that again because of time. Right, over the top of her head, I'm going to use two different colours. So I'm going to still do that zigzag. And these ones are going to be extra tiny because they look like feathers, but over the top of the head, they're going to be really tiny. Now, just before you get to the end of the eye, where the end of the eye is, um, you're going to stop. Now, I'm going to change over to pencil because I haven't got a, a pastel here. What I'm then going to do for the feathers at the back, they are red and jewel. So I'm going to do some red dots. Just red spots over the back okay so you should have red there and then the last colour I'm going to use is a um, light blue let's try a pencil again and see if it works better than the pastel um, so you're going to do um, this one round the outside for eye 
so what we can do oh i've forgotten what i did on this one on the original one ah. right let's go let's just do some stripes going um across you don't have to stick to my um pattern ways if you don't want to you can make your own so as i'm going across i'm trying to keep a straight line but i have to jump over the eye each time okay so you'll just get some stripes in there the next color let's see if i've got my pencils yeah I've got it then next color we're going to do is um the tree trunk so this one to make the tree look nice and tall like it's in the jungle just going to just use a ruler Oops, that really slipped in. Um, and do some stripes going down. Oh, this is really so slidey. Nothing's paper's sliding everywhere. Let's put a mat down on this one, I think, if I did this again. Uh, I really won't hold. So just do stripes all the way down. Yours would be much neater than mine. Mine's sliding the ruler won't, won't grip. This side's going to be another tree, so we're going to come down, and you're going to do your stripes going across. Again, all the way down to the bottom of that shape. So you're going to try and keep them all nice going across. Right, next bit I'm going to do is... Um, we're going to do a bit of the sky. Um, this one I'm going to use, um, actually I want the dark blue. I'm going to use dark blue on this side. Um, and this time, oh, I'm running out of pattern ideas. Um, this time I'm going to use circles. Okay, so I'm going to just... Put some circles. Could look like the rain actually in the rainforest. We could do a representation of rain. I'm just doing lots of little spots going down. Okay, they're in blue. If you want to, it's up to you. You don't have to do it. You can leave it like that. But if you want to, you could either colour the spots in or You've got an option of colouring round the spots. Your choice. You pick one or the other. Don't try and do both. So you could go round and make the spots look like that. And they probably look like s snow. Maybe stick to that one. Um, next idea we're going to do is going to do um, this section here. This is going to be more of the sky again. This time, what pattern can I do? Miss Harris, Miss Harris, what pattern? You're going to be better, much better at this than me. Um, next time we could do squares. Let's practice our squares. But I'm going to do these all in a nice row. Come down. And keep everything. Can you see that I'm trying to keep the rows underneath so we keep nice patterns? So when you come here, you're just going to get just a corner. I'm going to go round the beak down, and when I get to a bigger section, I can start coming across again. Okay, then you can go back and finish these ones if you've got any little gaps that are hidden. Okay, um, you'll finish that right to the end of that shape. Last shapes we are going to do, I'm going to do this bit. I'm going to do this as the grass. So you're going to come round. Happy face, sad face, join it up to get nice points. Happy face, sad face. So this looks like grass growing up in the rainforest. Happy face, sad face, happy face, sad face. 
all the way across okay next one i'm going to do is a nice bright pattern so we could do this one and again we could do we might do circles all the way around this is going to be a flower one of our nice bright flowers so you need a nice bright color not a dark color so i'm going to go keep on going round oops that's gone on the paper behind keep on going round as if you're doing um, lots of flowers so these almost look like the pet the shapes and the petals cover, cover a couple of these gaps in okay so you're just going to go finish the end of the shape like that next you can pick another bright color for the middle so i'm just going to do nice bright stripes going across you need another pattern for this last one so let's change um, my color i'm going to have a pinky color this time to make a nice bright color um this time i'm going to do um I've got stripes down stripes across. I'm just going to do a diagonal stripe on this one you can do them close together let's close them all up We can go close and then you could do this one you could color as a whole block could color all that one in and on the top let's pick another bright color let's do this color and on the top maybe i could do some spots on this one Okay, so you could even do the same on this one and colour it behind, even though you've got the orange stripes. So this lesson is all about trying to do some pattern work. And a lot of children, even me, sometimes find it quite hard to do lots of patterns, okay? So this is going to be in the style of Romero Brito, and you're going to finish each of these sections off. Please um, take some pictures and send them to me or the Twitter pages or that they will. This can also be found on YouTube channel as well. Okay, have fun guys. See you soon. Bye.